Welcome back to Basement Graves of Beers. I am Twisted Logic. Our dwarves are smooth stoning the area outside for a pathway for the caravan. The caravan has uh, trouble going over these uh, boulders on the outside map when they're when it's trying to get to our trade depot. If I hold down shift and press D um, for depot access, you can see that the wagon has trouble right around the boulder. The center of this boulder right here puts a square all the way around it. Um, so how this works is that the wagon's um, center line will go on any green W and the wagon will be graphically drawn on top of the red squares here even though it's technically on this space right here. Um, so I'm trying to carve, uh, just smooth the path right here, make it a little easier for the wagons. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that, um, I didn't really go over traps too much, but if I build a, uh, like a stonefall trap, like right here. Once the dwarves build that, the wagon will not be able to access the depot at all. They'll only be able to carry things in. So the merchants will still come, but the merchants won't bring the wagons. And that's when you have to start thinking about the weight when you're trading. When when there's no wagons being used, you have to really think about the weight of the uh, items that you're trading. You can't trade all these stone blocks because um, they need to be hand carried out. So I'm going to remove that trap and not build it. If you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up, let me know what you think in the comments, and subscribe for more videos. Okay, so I just put these floors in as well. And uh, this floor here for this hallway, down one level, I put this floor in for the roof and um, floor for the roof of the barracks and the floor for this room. This room will be um, build table. Must be inside, so I have to build the roof over the table first before I could build the table. Uh, but we're gonna make this this level a dining hall. Okay, so I set this farm back to single grain wheat in all seasons, and I think that I sent um, the cart here. There should be a track vehicle moving. Oh, that's right, the smiths are fishing. Okay. Okay, so this chamber here is filled with magma. We just need the um, cart, which is being brought in now. A steward Undil is bringing the cart right now. I need some more coffee. I'm. Uh, it turns out that I need at least um, three cups of coffee before I start becoming uh, a human and having communication skills. And uh, I'm on cup two right now, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna stick with the Space Fox uh, tile set. Everybody. Uh, Everybody really likes Space Fox, I've been using it. Um, I, I had thought that people were gonna enjoy the Matrix tile set more than they did, uh, which is fine. Because like, I played a Fortress with the Matrix tile set before, and I can even set, um, I have, th I have three different lazy new packs in three different folders in my Dwarf Fortress root folder. However, I can set this game, uh, Basement Girls of Beers, as Matrix tile set. We could pop in and see, see it, but if we wanted to, and then switch it back to Space Fox. However, um, that uh, playing with the Matrix tile set is, after the first day or two, I get used to it. And then I can kind of tell what's happening. 
but I really have to start over from the beginning of the fortress so that way my brain kind of learns each symbol as it goes. I have petitions here. So, they want guild halls back. I'm gonna make guild halls. Um, the silk farm's doing great. I think they're still smooth stoning this, right? S for smooth stone. Oh, okay. Maybe I canceled the job, I'm not sure. But I like to um, have a distinction between the uh, fortress and the caverns. Or the fortress and the outside world. I like to have so sort of a distinction. So I'm going to smooth stone the silk farm here. But uh, let me. Uh, there's another petition. I think that it's going to be. If it's a monster slayer. They're not allowed either because the the two monster. Oh, I gotta check on those guys. I left them in that room. Okay. Is this still locked? Yeah. So I'm gonna unlock this door, make it pet passable, and I'm going to claim all of their stuff as mine. Okay. I'm gonna dig um, two suicide rooms. So one there and one there. These are rooms that um, it doesn't matter the size or shape of them, uh, but really there's nothing in them. And uh, you put a door there, and then if you get a strange mood that fails, and the guy's just kind of the guy or girl is kind of just wandering around the fortress, sometimes they go into the suicide room and then you can just lock the door. And starve him if you miss it. I'm gonna build guild holes on this level, so I'm up. A, I'm just up a couple, and I'm gonna dig out a section here. For guild holes, and um, I'm not gonna put this in the burrows. I'm gonna keep this area separate. So I want this actually. Measure out five tiles there. Another engraver guild hall. Approve, approve. So I think maybe I I'll just prepare for uh, be a little bit more. So yeah, nobody really likes the matrix tile set. I thought some people would. I I made the. Um, other videos, so that way you can get it if you want it, uh, but I'm going to stick with Space Fox because uh, I've been playing Space Fox for years and uh, I can just quickly see what things are. And that's what I like about it. I, that's a door, a barrel, um, that's a wrestler, dwarf, We've got farms right here with a mushroom, and like... Now we're starting to get some good battle axes.
but we're out of wood right now. Um, I think that I turned furnace operator off, so they should still be getting wood. Nobody's chopping trees down is what's happening. What happened to... Okay, so yeah, I had to, uh, I went to Dwarf Therapist and turned uh, wood cutting back on uh, for the stewards. I, it was off for some reason. And furnace operator is off, but wood burning is on. So they should still be making um, ash. Lie. Let's see how much soap we have. Oh, you know what? Not that much time's passed since the last video. Um, Z for status, and then go over to stocks and enter. E for enhanced view, and then soap. Okay, so we got some cat soap and yak soap, which is great. We're going to be making some turkey soap as soon as these bolts grow up. I was trying to record yesterday and um, my computer kept blue screening because I have a um, like an eight terabyte external hard drive that I record to when I when I hit the record button it goes there for uh, write access and um, it was near full so I needed to clear out about uh, two terabytes or something of uh, old. Uh, video footage. I have a um, 4K camera for the real world, um, so I, I like to record nature, and um, also 4K game footage, so it builds up a little bit. I was thinking about getting a second 8 terabyte drive, or um, but I was looking on like Newegg the other day, and uh, I saw like a 16 terabyte, or um, I think that one was a little more expensive though. I have to um, probably wait for Black Friday. I like to, uh, like, my whole new gaming computer I bought, I, I saved up over time. And I was like, okay, I want to build this new computer because I was using, my old computer was all right, but like, I could only play so much Dwarf Fortress. The fortresses could only get so big with the old computer. Um, that one was the, um, AMD FX 8 core. And now I'm on the Ryzen 7. But so I saved up a decent amount of money. Uh, and then I waited for Black Friday. <laughs> I like parted out everything like um, that would work. I actually have an extra motherboard because um, the first motherboard I bought didn't really uh, meet my requirements for RAM speeds uh, without overclocking. So like native RAM speeds were, were pretty low. So then I swapped out the motherboard. I, I have a, um, this is a, the current motherboard is the um, X470 uh, master SLI. I have the box next to me, but I can only read half of it. I think that's a 6C. Oh, we have a Vile Force of Darkness has arrived. Vile Force of Darkness has arrived. Enter. Military. Alerts. Get inside. So, I didn't think that the last Vile Force of Darkness I thought was just in the last episode, but... Okay, we got another one. We're gonna see what happens here. Everybody's getting inside right now, and we're gonna... I gotta pull some levers in a second. Let's see how much they've advanced. Okay, so it looks like maybe the first squad was scouts.
and I have like barely any wood inside. I'll suspend that. So hopefully I did those bridges right. Oh great, so I pulled the main uh, bridge here and also these ones closed. They're still going to be able to get inside here uh, due to climbing, but this bridge is also closed. So you, fortress, you need to build me something. Fortress, the good of the fortress. Fortress is closed, and the noble is making a request, so it's going to end. So the mayor has a mandate here. Uh, he wants us to make um, three chains. So those could be. Metal chains, but it could also be rope. Happen A for announcements. There's goblins inside the fortress. How did that happen? How did they get there? That's closed. Hold up. This stair doesn't lead anywhere. They just got on the map here. Maybe they were stealthed? Oh! Okay. Military alerts. Squad A. Kill. L for a list. Move. Right there. B. Move. Right there. Silly of me. Let's see who wins here. I'm going to go to the reports. Just gonna be replacing the um, vacancy with uh, new dwarves here. <laughs> and you know what I'll do is I'll uh, change the uniform as well. Just gonna get rid of silver war hammers here. Enter and um, shift W for weapon. Uh, individual choice weapon.
and then I accidentally removed the shield, so I'm going to add that back. I'll do shields bucklers. So it's a little bit less specific here. So instead of a silver uh, steel shield, they're going to grab any shield. And if there's no shield available and we have bucklers, they'll grab a buckler. So they're going to grab something. Um, same with this individual choice weapon. They're just going to grab something. And then I'll... Um, e for equipment. And... Uh, shift U for assign uniform. And then I'm just going to reassign both squads this uniform. So now they're just going to grab any, pretty much anything that they can. Ah, I can't believe I left that open. It's first Stuart Dayton holding it down right there. Um, I have the numbers on my side. However, they're trained and have actual weapons and armor. But my suicide waves... <laughs> my suicide waves will fight to the last dwarf. pull these levers. some new squads here and uh, everybody's a suicide wave now <laughs> you have to make um, you only have the option to make a uh, squad on the uh, militia commander, I believe it is. It's usually the second squad down. Okay, I want to put all the stewards on the... Oh. Because they should have axes. Okay, everybody. Uh, I got some of the... Okay. Squad A, move there. B, move there. C, move there.
Almost one. We have some uh, some invaders left here. Military suicide wave lost some numbers here. Ah man. Quickly look around the fortress. So I got some goblins here in the butchery, butcher area, but I have things that are blocking doors here. Where are the rest of them? He's got an, he's had enough of it, he's leaving. Oh, siege is over. Uh, we're not letting him get away. Squad A, kill. As no, you're not getting out of here alive. Okay, so, so if I go to the squad list, A, and then K to kill, and then right here, L. Uh, select from list. Okay. And then I can do A, B, C, D. And I can move up and down this list here as well. Until I find the goblins, which is right here. And then if I hold down shift while I press A, B, C, D. E, F, and G. Now they're all selected. So squad A's order is to kill all of these goblins. Okay, enter. B, kill. L for the list. Down this a little bit. Shift, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Uh, I can't believe I did that. Uh, that's funny. Designations uh, Z to remove the um, stairs and ramps right here. And I'll have to build a wall right there because um, this was pretty... I mean, it was a decent sized invasion, but... But it, we overcame it, uh, but at what cost? <laughs> <laughs> Units. Okay. We only have four of the goblins left. The fortress will survive. Following Tullin, Builder Tullin's going to. Builder Tullin is uh, chasing after this last goblin. Where is he? Kill Varius, it says. I 
happen to him? Does he have wounds? Oh wow. <laughs> All my pults. Look at it. Uh, see who's alive here. Oh, oh good. Okay, so Zuglar still alive. Two of my smiths are still alive. Four of the goblins are still alive. I'm zoom to the goblin. Okay, that goblin is fleeing. What is this? A colony of honeybees right here. Excellent. I got a colony of honeybees here, which um, I was looking for earlier. Squad B, K to kill. Enter. Uh, C, kill. Enter. Enter. Just sending all the squads to hopefully kill the remaining uh, almost all the squads. Good, they're grabbing equipment and everything. Uh, great. He's leaving. I'm, I'm, I gotta start the cleanup now. <sighs> okay. P. Um, I'm gonna make a stock file Y for corpses, and I'm just gonna put it back here. Somebody's gonna come along and move that last card as well. This is okay. Everybody's all out of the military right now. I gotta take everybody out. Uh, because they're going to want to. Uh... They're gonna do uh, individual equipment. No, no, no. They're gonna do individual combat drills and everything like that. I just need everybody cleaning up right now. Designations B and then claim and box select everything. A bloodbath in this episode. <laughs> and I need to um, B and C to claim. Claim everything, and then this right here needs to be fixed immediately. Like half of the fortress is gone. Three of the smiths, so one of the smiths died, and a lot of them died. Clear all labors. Write the changes. Okay, total assigned labors. Great. K 
Okay. Kind of in an emergency mode now. X that out. Hospital. It's a good thing I set up that hospital. I um, have everybody kind of in emergency jobs right now. It's pretty much only refuse hauling and uh, construction, mining. Got rid of this right here. Maybe I'll just I'll leave that. Um, that part in the video. I need to build a lot of um, burial receptacles here as well. So I'm in planning mode. And uh, you know what, I'm going to just take a minute to uh, have a little bit more coffee while um, they start getting this sorted out. Where is... Um, Oh, there goes another dwarf gonna build some useless convention and then it's worthless. <laughs> okay. Strange mood as well, Athel. I claim this workshop in the name of invention! Hey. Okay, so he, hopefully he doesn't get stuck. Builder Serral is uh, taking care of some cleanup. He's placing that, placing his uh, brothers and sisters into the tombs. I'm gonna have to turn on masonry and just make a lot of gravestones, a lot of sarcophaguses and coffins. In a minute here, I want to, uh, want to just kind of uh, follow Builder Serral here while I sip some coffee and think about, absorb all of this. <laughs> oh man, so I dug that cliff face out a little bit too close to the stairs. And half of the fortress died because of it. But we survived is the important thing. Basement graves of beers lives on. We have a lot of graves now. Or we'll, we'll have some on. Now the miasma now. This miasma here. This purple is like a gas from the rotting corpses. Uh, doesn't make them happy. The chances of these dwarves uh, becoming insane is uh, going up now significantly. There was just a um, probably like a 70 degree incline on their craziness meter. It's a good thing that I built a lot of um, graves before something happened because it seems like a lot of these graves don't, these graves down here are empty. I need to make a bigger seed stockpile. Okay, he's eating. Oh, great! So, um, Athel. Smith Athel has created a um, rounded steel greaves. She claims it as an heirloom. Excellent. You're making greaves while uh, all 
what was just going on. <laughs> Great. I'm glad you're deciding to make family heirlooms while all this is happening. Let's look at the let's look at the groups. This is a rounded steel greaves. All crafts dwarfsmanship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with bands of steel and point cut shell opals. Okay. So. That. Man, I'm still just processing this. <laughs> What I'll do is um, make some engravings and see what they engrave, but I want to get most of this cleaned up first. So let me just see if they did this part yet. Designations are, no, 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 Z for remove uh, stairs and ramps, and I'm going to set this to priority one. Okay. because this is a problem right now. This is what caused it. So I must have been, oh, I channeled. That's why I just kind of box selected a channel. And uh, maybe when I looked on this level, because the channel won't show up on the lower level, designations H. So if I cut out that corner as a channel, look down, it shows nothing. It's fine. Build construct wall. So this one right here, I'm going to unsuspend, and that one I'll keep suspended, but um, military alerts, and then inactive. So I'll unsuspend both of them, since they can access it from the outside. Hopefully they do that before they do the construction over here because, yeah. So they're building the temple down here instead of this wall right here. I wish I could kind of prioritize constructions without like, um, or like box select suspend them.
Setting a priority for constructions would be ideal, but like box selecting the suspension of them would be a lot better. So some of the dwarves are starting to get a, a little stressed. We're gonna have to turn off. Uh, well, let's see here. Let's see. Just, um, you know what I'm going to do is just remove that. Okay, build, construct wall. And then just re, re, you know, tell them again to build it. And they should, it should go in the build order is, um, what is that? Yeti now. Now things are starting to get dangerous. This is, um, I believe that this is a pretty savage area here. Uh, this biome over here, I believe, is pretty savage. I think that's what it was. Or untamed wilds. But we got Yetis walking around now. So the, um, now approaching year five. And things are starting to get a little bit more dangerous. But we have honeybees. Um, honeybees are awesome. I want to, I like, kind of want to carve out a section of this whole map here. carve out a chunk of this mountain. Great, so the wall is complete now. Fortress is once again safe. Um, military alert. Get inside. Just tell everybody to get back into the burrows now. And what I'm going to do is... Um, close the fortress, seal us off from the yetis and from the goblins and from the undead and the forgotten beasts and all the dangers of the outside world and uh, we're gonna clean up all these bodies and clean up all this corpses and refuse we gotta start building graves uh, I think everybody's inside I'm gonna pull the levers to close up Sure that this hospital here yeah so this hospital here isn't part of the borough I have to add that okay I'm just gonna recheck the um, burrows a little bit and the new areas that I've built okay so this area here as well
Excellent. So uh, I'm gonna move the um move the cart back down and now we can build a um magma furnace. Build construct wall. I'll just wait until that uh I so want to be a west-south track. Okay, southwest. I built that right there, and then uh, this track uh, north south. I just went into Dwarf Therapist and turned levers on as tasks for the dwarves. So they should be closing up the fortress now. Okay, now I will turn the military alert to inactive. And we can begin the uh, cleanup. This is open. That's fine, that's the magma area, but I want to check that area out. Yeah, so I don't want. Um, build uh, floor bars right here, steel floor bars right here, on top of this uh, hole for the magma pump. For now. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can pump through that. I don't think I can. I never tested that if I could pump through um, floor bars or not, but I don't want anything um, right now in the fortress. The only thing that can the only way into the fortress is through this hole right here. And I don't want anything nasty coming through that right now while we're cleaning up the fortress and we just lost half the uh, crew. diplomat here too. Oh, it's an outpost liaison. masonry on after um, once this gets full fill of uh, once this gets full over here I'm gonna have to turn masonry on so we can um, build some more uh, sarcophaguses
Okay, so only one of these, uh, only one of these graves is op is um, open right now. So we're gonna need to build a lot more. A burial receptacle planning mode is on, and then. Um, this way. Added these graves in. Seeds. So I really need a better seed storage because they're not storing enough seeds as well. Um, what's the settings of this one? Dig out a room here, and uh, So I just moved all the animals that aren't in a zone into this zone, uh, which is only a couple of them. Can I slaughter these? No, those are pets. So I noticed that a lot of them are dumping items and they're bringing them right here still. So I'm gonna claim all these items, shift D to remove the dump, and then I for zones and X to remove the garbage dump here. Uh, because they're going, it's these stones right here. So I'm going to remove a section of this stockpile, and then I for zones, and I'm just going to add in, I'll add it down here, a little closer down here. Um, no, not gather, pick fruit, dump, garbage dump. So I just moved it right around the corner here because I need to get all these stones out of this room. So um, we start getting some tree growth down in here, tunnel tubes and... Uh, So they're still going to go to the original location uh, because I removed that dump. Like when they pick it up, they're like, okay, I have to bring this to the dump. The dump's in the other location. You remove that dump, they still think it's there until they drop off that item and then start a new dump sequence to bring it to this dump stockpile. 
So now everything's being brought here. So it's a little quicker. So it's boop. It's right around the counter. So I set um, Builder Tullin as the chief medical dwarf. dehydrated so we need to before all of these guys die because of my dwarf therapist settings I need to go into dwarf therapist and turn uh, yeah I need to turn all these on for everybody and then also yeah we're just gonna turn on all the hauling masonry as well so I'm just gonna have to start over with um, the labors even though um, they have some skills already I do still need farmers Cooking. Just the ones who've done it before. adjusted the labors a little bit more in Dwarf Therapist because I didn't turn on the medical uh, skills so now everybody's getting treated. It's empty buckets to give water. Don't I have empty buckets? Yeah. Plate, patient, clean self, uh, give water. Excellent. Arist, builder Arist has given water to the uh, hospital. I should really, um, I should really dig uh, water over near the hospital. Yeah, let me, let me um, see what I can do with that. Yeah, that's easy. I'm not going to do that right this second, but uh, take a small well right here. So 
small little reservoir. Just planned it out a little bit. Oh, so somebody else died here. Oh, my chief medical dwarf died. Just set him. Builder Sigun is not doing very well either. Construct rock blocks. I need to like suspend all of the masonry stuff except for graves. Um, see this one, this masonry shop doesn't have it so I'm going to add it. Uh, P. Repeat that. I don't necessarily need to turn off um, block construction once the um, yeah APR that's got coffins add place of rest repeat add place of rest repeat that one has this one. I need to engrave this. Shift E. No, 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 just lowercase e for engrave stone. And I'm just going to engrave some of this. Right here. Not there. After something like this happens and I engrave, hopefully, um, I'll do the wall right here as well. And then I'll, I'll after they engrave, they're still cleaning up and doing things. Engraving, I don't think is on. Um, oh wow, what is this stockpile? Oh, okay. We got a decent amount of armor from them. Steward uh, Shem here is throwing a tantrum. So I, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, while uh, everybody's kind of mourning anyway, I'm gonna lock him in the room there. tantrum there. So I think that we may starve out uh, Steward Shem here. I'm just gonna let him let him starve. How are these graves doing? do is um, just remove 
these wall right here. I'll just move the stockpile over a little bit. Excellent. The um, turkeys are starting to grow up, which is good news. I'm gonna have to. This stockpile's all full over here. Oh, it's mostly full. Um, what I'll do is um, make a refuse stockpile here, and then go into the settings of this and enable corpses as well. I want to get as much of this away from the um, stairwell as, as possible. What are you doing? Build our Thaltig. Running around babbling there for a minute. 12 is kind of neutral and... Um, oh, the 9 is neutral. So a majority of the dwarves are... Um, going crazy, starting to go get very stressed. Some of them are very stressed and some of them are starting to become crazy people. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some fell moods. We're gonna see, hopefully we get this cleaned up and some migrants before all that. Somebody puked on this pile of honeybees right here. Also make a um, corpse stockpile up here, and um, I'll go into the settings of this and enable refuse as well. So now there's plenty of places to put everything, and then as the um, graves start getting completed down here. She's bringing another one in there. Uh, for, first steward Dayton. And uh, first builder Olin uh, both died in the attack. They were part of the original crew. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more videos.